Hey guys, Dylan here. This is just another guide. This guide is to do armored zombies, which is pretty sure the fastest combat melee experience in the game. I think, anyway. I think it's pretty efficient. Um, so basically for this, I suggest 85 combat plus, at least. And you need to be done a quest called Defender of Varrock, which is one of the requirements for Curse of Arav, which is one of the requirements for curses to get turmoil. Um, that's the reason I did this quest. I didn't even know about this training area until after the fact I got turmoil. Um, as you can see my inventory, my setup. Most people probably don't have this, so I'm gonna tell you what. Like, basically, you can bring. You're gonna bring max strength bonus. I didn't really bring max strength at all. At all. Basically, you can get steads, barrels, gloves, which I don't have yet. Um, kiln or fire cave. I kind of lost mine, so. And you can get like, serum's whisper. Stuff like that. I wouldn't recommend Vester Stadius because I use. Anyways, you'll come up here at Vera Palace or Castle. I don't, I don't know what you'd call it. And then. So let's just go back down here. You come up here and then you go to the northwest of this place. And then you go up both the staircases. You talk. Actually, you probably already know this if you've done the quest, so I shouldn't really need to tell you that. Are you ready to go? Yes. And if you don't have, because the easiest way to do this is using Soul Split. So if you don't have Soul Split or anything like that, um, you're gonna need to bring more food than you would prayer pots. And I'm bringing extremes as you can see. But if you don't have the Herbler level, just bring Super Set, like Super Attack, Super Strength. I wouldn't recommend Super Defenses because uh, they wouldn't really help you that much. I guess I can say. And if you don't have the money for this kind of gear, um, you could bring like initiate for the prayer, or rune if you want it. But in it, if you can, if you don't have the money for this, I'd recommend just initiate. And this is serum diamond sword. If, if you're training strength, if you're training attack, you could bring like a whip or something like that. Or if you have a chaotic rapier, you could also bring that. Um, dragon boots. People should be able to afford that. If you can't afford a berserker ring, you can bring like warrior ring. I don't know, something like that. Region, a skill cape. Don't have a skill cape, then doesn't really matter what kind of cape. Fury or glory. Slayer helm, which is what I'm using, but you can bring a helm of Niats, something like that. So you'll come in here, and as you can see, all the armor zombies are right here. I don't really like doing it right in this area over here, so I'll go back here. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes this place has a lot of people in it. So you just come back here, you pot up, soul split turmoil, well you don't have to put on turmoil, if you want to stay here longer, you don't have to put on turmoil, but, yeah. So, I'm not sure if I said this, but you need to do Defender of Verox to even get here in the first place. This ranges from 100 to 200k experience per hour. I'm probably going to be doing this on double XP weekend, just because I want to get max combat. As you can see, I'm working on my attack, because I need 200k experience to get my 90 attack. And once I get 90, and then after that, I'll be 125 combat. I calculated that, so that's basically what I want at this moment in time. Is just my biggest goal is 126 combat right now, just because I don't know. I've never had that, and I've always wanted it. Cause I'll, cause I don't even though, even though that would be my free to play combat, cause I've always wanted that to be my free to play combat, but it just says still says 126, so I'm fine with that. Um, so that's pretty much it for this guide, you just kind of come here, soul split camp, I don't really use turmoil because I like to stay here for a long period of time while I watch a movie, so, four perennials, a bunch of super sets like that, just an inventory like this would be good to set, you can bring flasks as well, because flasks will make you stay here longer for a longer period of time, but that is up to you because flasks are a little bit more expensive, so if you can't if you don't have the money to do that, then just bring this kind of setup. And yeah, guys, this is done. See you later.